Good morning, everyone. It's Monday, uh, November 26th, 2012. And um, I'm going to do the question of the week today. I didn't do it on last Friday because it was Thanksgiving week. And um, of course, you know, wanted to spend with my family. And um, it was wonderful. Had a wonderful holiday. I hope you did too. And the first question, there's actually two parts to the question that I'm going to answer today. And it comes from Dana. Um, and the question that she asked me, and I'm just going to read it here, it says, what dimension do you work on and can you communicate with Jesus and the Masters? So some of you may have never heard of dimensional levels of reality, uh, but they do exist. And, um, you know, our scientists have well known this. In fact, quantum physicists um, believe that there might even be, I think they said 12 dimensions. So... First thing I want to kind of talk to you about is the body itself is, is is existing on the third dimension. I mean, we've all heard about this. We live in the third dimension. None of us have really stopped probably to question what that means, but the third dimensional um, reality is what our body exists on. And so that's the um, dimension of form and matter and so atoms coming together and, you know, creating this solid surface that we think is here. Um, that is third dimensional reality and our bodies exist on that reality. What a lot of people don't realize is that even though your bodies exist on that reality, your mind, your consciousness, and your heart exist on the next frequency of existence, which is the fourth dimension. Um, and it's just uh, the best way that I understood the dimensional, um, you know, realities is like a piano keyboard or a musical scale. And, you know, with the musical scale, we have C, D, E, F, G, A, B on the um, piano and C being our lowest note and B being our highest note in an octave. And those octaves keep repeating themselves up the musical scale. Same note, higher octave. So each one of those octaves represents a dimensional experience. Okay? So as we go in that one dimension, we have all of those notes, even the half notes, as frequencies. So in the third dimension, we have all these frequencies in the fourth dimension all these frequencies and it just keeps repeating infinitely um, so our heart and our mind our consciousness all of those our feelings our emotional our soul exists in the fourth dimension which is one octave above the third dimension so we exist in both of those dimensions at the same time and when we are focused when we focus our consciousness on our bodies say we're in pain, or we're doing some sort of physical activity, uh, or we're just living our day-to-day -day life. We tend to be focused in the third dimensional reality, but we're focused there, not existing there. I hope that makes sense. We're not taking our consciousness out of the fourth dimension and bringing it all down to the third. We're just focusing our consciousness into that dimension. When you die, you let go of the body, and you just bring your focus and attention back up to where your consciousness exists already, where your soul exists already, which is that fourth dimensional level. So when I'm working as a medium, all I do is I bring more of my focus into the fourth dimensional level, which is my heart, and you do it through your heart, and my awareness. And so it's very focused awareness. And, and so I'm able to tune into that dimensional reality and to those who don't have bodies anymore or who exist in third dimensional molecules, atoms, okay? So that's the level that I work on when I'm doing mediumship work and also on healing work, any kind of work that I do. I am, you know, I have a small piece of my consciousness aware of my body and most of my consciousness is aware of this other reality and you do it through um, awareness, through the mind and also through feeling awareness, which is through the heart. And vibrationally, your body is attuned, each of the chakras are attuned to different octaves. So your very first chakra is attuned to the third dimension, I'm sorry, the body dimension. So it's in that lower frequency octaves, okay? 
and um, and it's concerned with your physical health and vitality, that kind of thing. As we move up, the the lower three chakras, three, two, and one, are very much connected with the body. But as we move up into this, you know, second chakra, third chakra, fourth chakra, we're moving into our emotional body, our mental body, and our heart. These are higher frequencies and, um, and, and exist in fourth dimensional reality. So I focus on my heart, I open my heart up with love, and I focus on my awareness and I bring in information based on that connection. Last week's question, we actually talked about how if you want to communicate consciously with your loved ones in spirit, that you can't do that through the body, you have to do that through the mind. And so they do communicate with you through thought, okay? Um, the better you get at trusting that, the more your imagination can create an image in your mind, a form. But it will be here that you create it. When we're children, we're very open and connected to that, and so our imaginations are free to... Um, they're just free to show us whatever we need to see. Uh, so we can see our imaginary friends, uh, we can, which are our guides. We can see loved ones in spirit really easily. We can see um, nature spirits. It's all existing on that reality. It's because our awareness allows us to. So that takes me to the next question, which is, can you speak with Jesus and the masters? Absolutely. Everybody can. All it requires is that you have an intention to do so. So you're telling your awareness where to direct itself, and that's what your intention is about. It's what am I going to pay attention to? So if I want to connect with Jesus, then I just literally call out to him in my consciousness. And then you have to be in a state of openness in your heart, which creates a vibrational attunement with that frequency. So I sit down and I feel love for myself. And it is love for yourself that opens the heart chakra. You know, we're taught to love others, and that being the opening of the heart chakra, and actually that's an outside-in approach. You have to feel love for yourself. So in order to connect with the Jesus and the Masters consciously, to feel and receive feedback from them, there has to be an awareness of worthiness in your own heart. You have to feel um, self-love, and then in that self-love, your consciousness can expand to receive information from those who are in those higher frequencies.